Now, Mother, the last thing I need is you derailing another one of my career paths. You always talking about booting me out of the house. How am I ever going to get out of the house if you keep doing this? I don't even know anything about knit, knitting needles. Mother, can't you get a Uber? Call Mr. Uber and see if he can take you. <clears throat> yeah, my, oh, I forgot who I was talking to. Mother, call, call Mr. Uber and he, he'll give you a ride. Yes, I got to go. There's a lovely lady here. <laughs> I know she's not here to see me, Mother. I, I am aware that she is a customer and I work here. I don't need your counsel. Bye. I'm, 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 I'll be home later. I, I don't know. It depends on... Yes, yes, ma'am. I, I do apologize. It's a, You know how mothers are. Well, maybe you don't. Do you have a mother? That's none of my business. Mother, I gotta go. You're getting in between me and this lady and we can't have a conversation. Okay, I'm hanging up. I'm ha Don't start talking about that. Now, you know how I feel about that lawnmower. All right, bye. Ma'am, I do apologize. You will. Do you have a mother? You know how they go on. My mother is going to plague me. She won't let me forget how I lost my last job. But I, I, I told her, I said, Mother, today is a new day. Don't worry so much about it. You're living in the past. That's your problem. You dwell on things that were long ago, and nobody cares about it anymore. I mean, that was last week. This is this week. And, uh, and today, I am happy. I am ever so happy to serve you as your pharmacy technician at the drugstore. So, um... What what would bring you down the path to grace me with your beauty today? <laughs> you have a you have prescriptions to pick up. How many prescriptions do you have? It's not a quiz. I mean, most people know. It's like if you don't guess it correctly, we're not gonna have a trap door open or a giant hook come out to take you away. But most people know how many they came to get. Some people are surprised. They come to get one, they got two or three. And Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe I need to take it more often. I don't forget. <laughs> it's like a loop that you get in with prescriptions. You, know. you have three prescriptions. Wow. You seem awful young to have that many prescriptions. I mean, you seem very, very fit. Why do you need so many drugs? That's none of my business, Mother told me. She said, Carl, don't you get in those people's business. Now, you know how sensitive you are when you go pick up your cream at the drugstore and people look at you funny. Don't do it. And Mother, I said, I don't, I don't get self-conscious about it. I, I, I mean, I don't want to talk about it, but I don't need it all the time, mainly just in the spring and fall. Never mind. Um... I actually need to look you up on here. Um, now, I am new here. I am a trainee. I am so new. I don't have a thing. My name is Carl. And if you would love to kiss my hand, I sure would. Now, I realize we live in the age of plagues and stuff. But if you would want to just give me a touch right there, I, I, mean, I promise you I wouldn't mind at all. Or maybe later. Maybe later. I'll, okay. Now... I, I do have to ask for some information from you. Let me look at this screen now. Hang on a minute, it's gone blank. I have to I have to put in a number here. They give us they give us this this number and it's a security pin. It's not a literal pin like you write with. It's a PIN. It's a personal um infection notepad no penis inversion personal it's personal and i can't give it out let's see what was it seven two two zero there we go you didn't hear that did you please say you didn't hear it because i'll have to talk to mr clark again and he yells at me he gets so close to my face that when he yells at me he fogs up my glasses and it makes me nervous and then I get itchy all over and I break out in a rash. And it's not a good look when you're in the pharmacy to have a rash all over. 
even if you can explain it, people look at you like you got leprosy or airborne Ebola or something. All right, now, I need your date of, well, first of all, are you here picking up things for yourself? Are you here picking up on behalf of someone close to you, like a husband or a boyfriend? No. Well, does your husband take a bunch of drugs or your boyfriend? Maybe your husband and your boyfriend. I don't know. It's the modern age. You might have both. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Um, you, your date of birth. Yes. 19. Whoops. Hold on. Can you, can you start over? I lost my place. And your last name. Now, how do you spell that? Well, there are other ways to spell Smith. I mean, it's just awfully presumptuous to think that I would know how to spell it. S-M-I-T-H. Oh, there you are. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Okay. Now, I see here. Oh, I have your address. Do you still live on Main Street? Oh, I'm just making a note about, I'm writing a shopping list. And is your phone number still the same? 555. Five, five. It's, I, I just wrote down asparagus and collard greens on my little piece of paper right here. That's, that's all. Is there a sidewalk in front of your house? Do people just incidentally walk by? I bet they do. Do you have big windows in the front of your house? See, my mother lives with me at her house, and we have this big bay window in the front of the house. Yes, ma'am, I know you're in a hurry. I know. I'm going to get to you in a minute. This is the express lane. I, I pride myself in moving fast. We have this big bay window, and Mother has gotten into this exercise program. She found it at a yard sale. Now, normally people don't do yard sales this time of year, but this one this one guy was seemed to be real eager to sell everything in his house. Like, he had to go in a hurry, <clears throat> and he was selling everything really cheap, and he only took cash, and he said that you have to grab it and go, and people were coming around and asking questions and taking pictures, and he was really sweaty. I don't, I don't know. I kind of got the feeling that time was of the essence. Anyway, Mother found he had this whole program. It was called the Shake Weight. Have you ever heard of the Shake Weight? It's not like you're going to get a milkshake and there's a long line and you have to stand there for a long time. No, it's actually this weight, and it was a whole system. It's like a system of Shake Weights. And there was a VCR tape, which is very convenient because we have a fine VHS player at my house that I have that belongs to my mother. And so mother has gotten into me doing this shake weight thing. And I am becoming quite buff, if I say so myself. I, I do believe that the shake weight is starting to work. And I was hoping that part of my career path could be showing the ladies how much I have changed. Unfortunately, this bump does not show off the definition in my back or my pectoral muscles. The Shake Weight has a whole program to it. And yes, ma'am, I am aware of you. If your legs are wobbly, have a seat on that blood pressure cuff machine over there it's all right clarence will be along to use it in a little bit but you can sit on it for now it talks to you though as long as you sit on it it's kind of annoying but it, you'll learn to tune it out i do and, and so uh, we we stand there and we have these shake weights and i'm standing in the window i'm doing like this you know and my neighbor started looking through the bay window and watching me with the shake weight and mother and so we're both standing there facing one another doing this and he got out his little pocket phone you know those little things that people use they're like this big 
you know, and they looked like a game boy. And they he got it out, and I don't know if he was making a phone call. He was holding it like this, and I don't know what he was doing with it. Maybe he was trying to get it to work. I do that with my, my Polaroid every now and then. and But anyway, he goes out in front of the house, so we have that big bay window so he can see us very clearly. Maybe he also has the system, and he's looking for pointers. So I'm doing a shake weight, and it's really done wonders for my biceps and my triceps. They don't they don't flop down like bat wings so much anymore, which is a, a blessing when you get to my age. Not that I'm old. I'm not old. My mother is old. She's older than dirt. She won't let me tell you how old. But let me tell you what. She went to school with Methuselah. So, what was I saying? So, do you have big windows in front of your house? Are you a fan of jazz or size? You look like you'd bounce around real well on laminated flooring. You look quite bouncy, like you'd have strong, you know, Achilles tendons. Yes. Sorry, yes, man. I, oh, I, I understand, I understand. Um, hang on a minute. Do you, I have to ask you some questions before I fetch your stuff. Okay. Do you have a new insurance card? No. I like that answer because if you'd said yes, I don't know what I would have done. Um, how do you, how would you like to pay today? Do you want to use a card? We prefer that people not use cash because there's this coin shortage that I have had not heard anybody explain in like two years. There's a coin shortage. Not that I think you're going to pay for this in coins. I mean, you don't look like the type to drag around a bag of coins. You look like a credit card person to me. Not that I think you don't have any money. You just look like you'd pay with a credit card. Like, you pay with it and then you're smart and you pay it off every month. I've heard that there are real smart people out there that do that. I use money orders and gift cards underwritten by the Quick Stop. That's typically what I try to do. But credit card, yes, ma'am. Just a moment. I'm a, I got to get them first, and then I will ring them up. Um, yes, I see them actually. They just got they just got set out. How's that for convenience? All right, now let me see what we're going to pull out of the bag. I got my bag of tricks. Ma'am, I am going as fast as I can. You cannot rush excellence. Providing good customer service takes time. All right, ma'am. Now let me see what we got here. We got a big old bottle for just a few pills. I need to get on to that pharmacist. This is wasteful. This is wasteful. All right. One. Oh, have mercy. Two. You, you, get, you got the good stuff. You, you see it? It's a whole bunch of words on there. I'm going to read this to you because I'm just concerned that some of these words are really long and you might not understand them. And. Three. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's one big old long word. That's going to take a while. Well, yes, ma'am, you, you can do a consultation with the pharmacist. And actually, I have a box here that says because you have not had these before, that you actually have to talk to the pharmacist. But what we're going to do is like a pre-conference. Because I feel... That I was put on this earth to help educate and enlighten people in my path. And I think that's part of the reason why I got let go from the H&R block. I think that was why. Okay, what's that? It's a what? I would not want to get a shot from... Oh, I knew. Oh, of course, I knew that. Okay. Now, ma'am... Just so this won't confuse you so much, um, I also have a printout here that shows each thing that you got and your price after your insurance. And then I also have for you this additional 
pamphlet and, and bag. This is called Dispose RX. Are you familiar with this product? It solves the problem of drug disposal. Now, it's, the RX part is in red right here. That's because it's not a part of the word dispose, but that's the brand name of the company. Now, a lot of people don't know what this RX stands for. Do you know where that comes from? No, it doesn't have it. No. Oh, no, honey, no. It has nothing to do with Latin. No. Okay. Let me explain. Okay, RX. Think about the word prescription for a minute. You know, we like to shorten things in life. You know, like you take the word laboratory and you shorten it to lab. Or Labrador Retriever and you shorten it to lab. Which in the wrong sentence could be kind of confusing. Like taking the lab to the lab for lab work. I don't want to dwell on that too long. I'll get a headache. And Anyway, so... If you have the word prescription and you want to make it shorter, you would take the two most important sounds from that word. Er, ipshin, ipshin, erx, erx. So if you have erx, erx sounds like the, the main sounds of prescription. Churn, kershurn. It sounds like prescription. So, it's just a short way of saying the prescription. If you don't want to have to say all those syllables, you can just say Rx. And it's a lot easier. So, that's a common misconception that it comes from Latin. It's okay. It's, you, you, you know what? You're fine. It doesn't mean that you're ignorant. Well, it literally does, but I didn't want to say that. It's a common, it's a common misunderstanding. And that's part of the reason why I'm here. See, I think that's why when I took that Dogecoin at the tax place and got fired, I think that's why. You know, they don't understand. That's that's the that's the money of the future right there. And I mean, it might have been written on a piece of paper with an IOU on it, but I thought it was a good enough payment for the tax work. My boss didn't agree. So now I work here. I, I am the newest employee in this drug store. So, let me see. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ring these up. Let me look here at this paper. I need to make sure they match. There's that one. That one. There's that one. And this big old long one here. All right. I'll just have to do quality control. Now, we're going to put these in. All right, now, the first price is $19.59 with your insurance. I am a little bit bit sick myself. Oh, no, ma'am, I, I don't need a mask. No, I, I don't know why you think I should go home. I mean, look, I, well, let me put this in and I'll explain it to you. I'm so glad you came in today. I get to explain so many things. That is $27.95. Okay. I'm a little stuffed up. Not stuck up. I'm stuffed up. <clears throat> it's all right, though. $39.22. Mother had this little lady come by and read my tea leaves, and she said it was not covid and it wasn't the flu, and it was not strep. She said it was just a plain old cold, and I'd be fine. She also told me I'd meet a lovely lady today and have a meaningful conversation. Do you think this counts as a meaningful conversation? Because I sure do feel extra meaningful today. Would, would you actually like to just go ahead and shake my hand now? I mean, if you could just touch, like, maybe my, my middle finger is closest to you. Not because I'm being disrespectful, but because that's my longest finger. And it's... I, well, I don't have any Purell. I mean, I don't know that we need it, do we? I mean, I feel that we've really connected on another level here. Well, no, man. Uh, all right. 
you don't understand some things. And that's all right. That's all right. I'm used to it. I, I like to take my hand to gently guide young ladies such as yourself as, as we go along this path of life. Okay, let me, let me start from the beginning here. Now, we are in a store, right? There's air circulating everywhere in here. So, you're actually probably breathing air that Jesus breathed, breathed, inhaled. He he recycled it himself. You're probably breathing some of Jesus' air. You're just likely to breathe in his air as you are mine. <clears throat> and, um, so, but I, the way I see it, wearing a mask, all it's going to do is direct it out the sides. It's going to hit my hair. And it's going to just boomerang back towards you. If anything, it's going to be like a particle accelerator. And it will accelerate the particles straight into your nostrils. And two, one thing people don't think about, you got on a mask. That's not keeping it from getting in your eyes. You know it can get in there too. Nobody thinks about it. They don't ever hear about that. But one of the reasons I can't wear my mask is because of my night blindness. I have night blindness, which means I can't drive after dark, and I really hate it when that happens, and I told the boss here about it. I said, I can't work past dark, and as we get on in into the summer, I can work later and later, but for right now, I can't work past six, and because if I wear a mask during the day, see, it fogs up my glasses, and it tricks my eyes into believing it's dark. And then I have my night blindness. And it, it was diagnosed in an alley when I was a child. And then once it's activated, you can't undo it. And, and, and I heard that it's really serious because it is psychosomatic. That's serious. That's like the major leagues right there. It is psychosomatic. I have psychosomatic night blindness, and you can't play with that. So, you can see where wearing a mask would be a severe health risk. Not just to me, but to everybody. Because what if I was stricken with night blindness while I was walking down the aisles of this lovely store? I could knock somebody down. I could trip somebody. I could, you know, accidentally hit a lady with a walker and fling her into the Easter decorations. Those things are pointy. You got to think about others when it comes to safety and health. I mean, you can't be selfish. So with all due respect, you continuing to ask me about my mask is getting to be a little bit disrespectful. And I got to say, it's a little offensive. So if you could just taper off on that, that'd be good. All right. So, I don't know if you know what this is. This is actually called an oral dose syringe. Now, you might have thought this was a hypodermic needle. No, I didn't think it was a hypodermic needle. Why? No, I, I know this is not a hype. I mean, anybody knows that. And it, no, I didn't. Ma'am, please. I'm a professional, okay? This is an oral dose syringe. It goes up to... Five moles, five moles right here. And a mole is like a mole. Well, you know how much a mole is. So what holds five of them? That's what it does. And now you're not going to need it for this because these are pills. You're also not going to need it for this because these are also pills. You don't need this. It's not like you can fit it in there and you're not going to shoot it into your mouth. What you need it for is this right here. I take it you're having trouble sleeping at night. You're not going to have any more trouble. Now, this has a C2 on it. Do you know what that means? A class 2 narcotic. No, ma'am. No, see there. You are miss. You are you are incorrect about that. No, they give you this right here because this, ma'am, is generic Tussin X. It does have a uh, codeine in it. You're gonna be seeing two of everything after you take a dose of this. So you want to be real near your bed when you take this because it's gonna knock you on your sweet patootie. Yes, ma'am. 
Now, let me read the name of this to you. That's why it's got a C2 on it, because you're going to be seeing double. Hydrocodone, poly, polystyrex, and chlorpheniramine polystyrex extended release suspension. Now, that is equivalent to 10 milligrams hydrocodone bitartrate and 8 milligrams chlorpheniramine malleate per 5 moles. There's that mole again. That's convenient. It's that 12-hour dosing. Now, it is contraindicated. Do you know what contraindicated means? It is contraindicated in children under 6 years of age. Now, that means contra. Like the Iran-Contra scandal. See, that was a bad thing. And that's that means bad. Because it's, you know, you anything got Contra in it. Iran-Contra scandal. You don't hear like the Iran-Contra, you know, banquet or the Iran-Contra festival. No, it's the Iran-Contra scandal. Contra-indicated. Indicator. What is an indicator? Well, one time I was in Decatur, and I got a bad deal on a Vespa, and it left a terrible taste in my mouth. Georgia, Decatur, Georgia, I was in Decatur, and it was bad. So this, to me, it contraindicated, indicator of contras, that means it is double bad. In children under six years of age. Now, if you have any children running around, you should not be giving them this. Well, you shouldn't be giving it to anybody because it's yours. But if you give it to children under six years of age, it is double plus ungood. And that's just as, you can't get any worse than that. Dispense entire carton is one unit. All right. So... It looks here, let me look at your dose. You want to take five moles by mouth. And that doesn't mean you take the bottle and turn it up. It means that you have to take this, you have to take it out of the plastic. Don't leave it in the plastic. It's really hard to use if you don't take it out. I'm not going to touch it because that would not be sanitary. And I don't want to get yelled at again. It's really convenient because you're going to go up to the mole at the top. It looks like the bottom, but it's the top when you pull this back. It's called a plunger. Don't use the one for the toilet for this because it is contraindicated. It is double plus ungood. Draw it to five moles and then you can put it in a shot glass. You can use something like this right here. If you don't like to use this, you can go with a cup. This one's sticky. Don't ask why. We've got 2.5 moles. 5 moles, 10 moles. Now you want to go with that middle mark. Do you want this? I only used it a few times. Don't ask why. Well, I'm just saying you could you could do either way. But if you want the little the little syringe, that's fine, I reckon. Um, Alright, now. So you got this. Have you ever taken this before? Let me tell you something. My mother has some home remedies that might work for you. How about we try some ground ginger? Maybe take this little ground ginger and make you some tea or snort a few lines of it. It might help you calm down. It could be that you're just a little bit hysterical and need to calm down a little bit. I mean, what kind of symptoms are you having anyway? A bad cough? Well, what do you describe as bad? Uh-huh. Well, I had a cough one time put that one to shame. I mean, I wish that's all I had. It sounds to me like it's not that bad. Now, I know women sometimes can be a little bit dramatic. Now, when you were in the doctor's office, were you telling him a tale? Oh, her, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I know, I know, I know there are lady doctors. Yes, I know that. I just, I just assumed it was a he. I do apologize. Don't get upset. Well, did you tell her? Did you put on a little bit with her to maybe fake it, make it sound like you were worse than you are? Well, if you were, I'm just saying, you know, you could get this, you know, for the, you, you see the price. You can get this happy belly 
ground ginger right here. This is only three dollars for the ground ginger, and it comes with this cap on it. And uh, you could you could just use ground ginger, make you some tea, or snort it, or sprinkle it on some porridge or whatever you want. You want some ginger? Well, mother swears by it. I think it would be a better alternative than this stuff right here. I mean, I'm just concerned you're going to get home and get confused and not know how to use it. Just make sure you talk extra long to the pharmacist about it. I mean, maybe she can help you. Now, this is a box, but you don't take the box. Don't don't get it twisted. You don't you don't actually you don't actually consume the box. I'm gonna show you what's in here now. Don't get scared because it looks it looks intimidating at first, but don't don't be afraid. Now I know this looks scary as I'll get out, but don't worry, it's okay. You see all these pills. Now you're not gonna pop them all out like Pez and eat them at once because you would probably be whacked out of your mind if you did. First day. Let me see. First day, take two tablets before breakfast, one tablet after lunch, and after supper. I've never seen the word supper in a prescription medication. Where these where were these made in dog patch? They were made in New York. Huh. It's got the word supper on it. I'll be darn. <clears throat> Mother would be proud. And two tablets at bedtime. And then see, you just you just take it down and you just taper down one, two, three during the you know, the how many days have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for six days, pharmacist gonna tell you to start tomorrow because it's kinda late in the day. Don't try to start it today. You'll get all all off off, you know, your pace here. I'm just a little concerned. Would you like me to stop by? And help you take these because I'd be more than happy to help you with this because this seems like a lot for one lady to take on. How about I come by your house and uh, like I could come by at breakfast time. I could bring you a biscuit and you could eat your biscuit after you eat, take this. And then I'll make you some lunch. I'll heat you up some SpaghettiOs. And if you're watching your figure, we'll get the kind without the meatballs. And then at supper time, maybe you could come over to my house and Mother could make her special vegetable lasagna and we could watch Wheel of Fortune together. And if you feel especially spicy, you could stay for Jeopardy and then we could do shake weights together. Are you up to that or are you feeling poorly? Well, maybe when you get better, and then you have to take two at bedtime. I'd be more than happy to come by and help you with that. You know, these things make you a little spicy, right? <laughs> well, actually, they make you retain water and feel like crap, but you might like to have somebody there to give you a massage. I can do that. I got magic fingers. Mother says I have magic fingers for massages. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you have to forget that she's my mother and take her word for it. And see, then we could just taper down and I could help you with all this. What do you think? Well, I, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying I want to help because I am a generous person. Well, if you change your mind... I'm going to write my phone number on here. And my name is Carl. I think I said that earlier. But I don't know if you forgot. Now, okay, now let me read the name of this to you. Okay. <clears throat> I got I to gotta get, I got to get a run and start at this one. All right. Part of it is in all caps. I think they messed up. I don't think they meant to do that. Methylprednisolone. Because it's Italian. It's actually named after a pasta. 
USP USERV pasta. And we have the NDC code up here. Need donkey celery. 42806-4021. Methylprednisolone. Now, I'm not really sure, but I know it has Italian heritage to it. I mean, you can tell by the name. It's four MIGs in a unit of use. I heard of MIGs. It was in one of those superhero movies. Was it with the one, the, the superhero lady with the flat butt? She was talking about MIGs. How is that Italian, though? She was talking, she talked about a MIG. I don't know. Do you know? Have you seen that movie? The one, the one with the woman in it. The, the superhero movie with a woman in it. I remember she had a flat butt and mother, her feet fell asleep in the movie theater and she ended up dropping my popcorn. I was mad too because I'd just gotten it. Have you bought popcorn in the movie theater? It's obscene what it cost. Took my whole week's salary from H&R Block. Dumped it on the floor. At any rate, I'm very concerned that you might get confused with this and not understand how to take it because it changes every day and you got to be able to move with the paces and change every day. You know, it's like, it's like jujitsu, but medicine taken. How do you feel about that? I don't feel comfortable with it myself. Um, yes, make sure you talk to the pharmacist. Now, these are little, but don't let them, don't let them fool you because... They're, they're deceptive. They smell like candy, actually. They smell tasty. Let me look at them. Pretty little things, aren't they? Aren't they pretty? They're nice. They look like little pearls. Now, <clears throat> I'll put them back in there. <sighs> now, the, the brand name for this is Z-Pack. But I see here that you are you are um, cost conscious like myself, which I really admire. And you got the generic, which is azithromycin. That's generic for Zithromax or Z Pack for short. Two hundred and fifty megs in here. Hang on a minute. This is only four megs, and this is two hundred and fifty. How is it that these pills are no bigger? It's got 250 megs in here. This only has four. What's this got in it? This has 10 megs of hydrocodone, 8 megs of chlorpheniramine. I'll be darned. I tell you, modern medicine is just fascinating to me. I like to learn about drugs and medication and how, how it all works together. How'd they cram 250 megs in these little pills? Seems like they'd be heavier, but they're not. That's a marvel of modern medicine right there. Now, if you don't like those, Mother recommends red food coloring. Because the pills are pink. I figure a few dabs of this will do you. How about you just go with this like sublingually, you just put them right under your tongue. I know a lot about that. I know about sub, never mind. I need to stop right there. Mother says that healthy cures are the best cures, nature's cures. And you don't get any more natural than happy belly red food coloring. It's, it's all natural ingredients, because look at that cupcake. You don't get that, except anywhere but the good Mother Earth. They even give you instructions on here for basic blending. And this stuff is good until 2026. That's how you know it's good, because it's preserved for a long time. Man, I, 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 I'm going to have to move this along, because I do believe the lady behind you has passed away. Um... Let me go ahead and, and get you ready here. I'm going to get you squared away. I heard the manager say that, and I thought it sounded really spiffy, and I'm going to start saying that. I'm going to get you all squared away. I'm, I'm going to fix you up. 
Now, let's see. Now here's your total. Now if you'll put your card in the little little thingy there, the card reader. Packing your items away. I think I got. I, I'm afraid I got some little fingerprints on your on your box. I hate it when I leave fingerprints on a lady's box. I'm always afraid she's not going to come back for more. You can take your card out. It's going to beep in a minute. And your receipt is there. Now I'm going to have you step down here and talk to this other person in a white coat. Um... Now that's the pharmacist. Now, don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand something, just speak up. And don't be afraid to admit that you don't know anything. It's okay. Um, we're here to help. And I'm glad that I could answer some questions for you today. Um, I'm going to take this down to the pharmacist and she will meet you at the window down there. I'm glad it's a female pharmacist because I figure y'all can talk on a, on a level that's more comfortable for you. I know it's hard to discuss sickness sometimes with a man because I feel a sense of discomfort that you have with me today. And, and I think if we could just spend some time together, you know, maybe I could help you overcome that and improve your quality of life. So if you if you reconsider having me help you out with your dosing, um, just give me a call. I'll be happy to come around, and I'll bring you I'll bring you a biscuit, and we'll talk about pills and anything else that you may have questions about. Well, thank you so much for visiting the drugstore today. I'm going to get this down here for you. And we'll get you all squared up and fixed away and we'll get you out the door. Awesome.